Welcome to another episode of What's New in Cabinet Vision version 8. In this video, we will be covering new bid center features, new CAD features, and new door features. To start this off, let's talk about the new features in the bid center. To do that, I'm going to fast forward to a small job with a single cabinet. Next, we need to go to the Reports tab and click on the Bid Center button. Now that we're in the bid center, I can show off the first feature. It's an enhancement to the item filter, so let's click on the filter button to open it up. The first thing you should notice is the new invert selection button. When we click on this button, it will uncheck any items that are checked and check any items that are unchecked. Now that we have all the items unchecked, you should notice that the main item, labeled Room 1, didn't collapse down. In previous versions of Cabinet Vision, the room items would collapse down when all of the items were unchecked, but starting with Cabinet Vision version 8, you have all the control on when a room item is collapsed or not. The next feature that I want to talk about is in the Bid Center Reports, so let's close out the item filter and click on the Report button to check it out. The new feature is a series of new variables that were added to help create better bid reports. Let's change the report mode from View to Setup to see the variables. There were a few variables added. The first two we can see are Accessory List and Accessory Prices. The next set of variables require us to scroll down a bit, and here they are, Labor Body All and Labor Body. One more quick scroll down will show us the final report variable, Summary. Let me take a moment to show off some of the data that can be produced using these variables. The Accessory List variable lists the accessories in the job. In the job that we are in, the base cabinet has a sink accessory added to it. So, for that accessory, it would show up like this in the view mode. Accessory prices lists the accessories in the job with the prices showing. In the same job, with the same accessory, the same information would be shown like this. Labor Body All displays the fully expanded labor view. Again, with that same job, this is how the Labor Body All would look like with one of the preset labor methods selected. Labor Body displays the unexpanded labor view. Just like with the Labor Body All, we get the labor time for this job, but it's not broken down as it was with the Labor Body All variable. Finally, we get to the Summary variable. This variable will display the Bid Center summary in your report. Again, with the same job that we were using, this is the data that will be presented in the report. Moving back to the plan view of our job, you can see that I've added a CAD element to the cabinet. The reason that I did this was to talk about the new CAD feature that we added. Starting with Cabinet Vision version 8, whenever you double click the workspace where a CAD element is visible, you will be brought right into the CAD editor for that view. Finally, we get to the last feature set for this video. The new feature is part of the door material schedules, so let's go ahead and get into there. Now that we have it open, you can see the new door feature right here. The new min cost per door feature allows you to specify, on a per material basis, a minimum cost that each door is required to have. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the new features of Cabinet Vision. We hope you enjoyed it, and as always, if you want more information on Cabinet Vision Solid, please visit our website at www.cabinetvision.com.